Hi, Jesse Mock, field agronomist for Pioneer in North Dakota and Minnesota. Uh, today I wanted to spend a little time talking to you about probably the most frequently asked question I get about the Enlist and, enlist and the Enlist system. You know, I talk with guys, they really love the Enlist system for flexibility, uh, tank mix compatibility, everything else compared to dicamba, the no cutoff dates. It's a big thing, Every, everybody loves that, but, but, but usually the biggest question that comes up is, well, how does it compare agronomically and yield-wise to the current extend that I'm growing? Uh, so back this past February, we put a real big plan in place to get as many farm plots out in the country as we can. So the territory I have uh, in southeastern North Dakota and to the east in Minnesota was to get as many replications as we could out there. So we got 18 to 20 uh, on farm plots. Here's one today, uh, just uh, northeast of Amenia, North Dakota. Uh, with some plots we've actually got in the list on this side of the plot and then we've got some of our popular extend varieties just on the other side of the plot uh, so we did enlist alone uh, plus we did multi-trait plots to really help answer those questions that are important to growers how good is the IDC compared to the ones I'm growing what's white mold like what are the agronomic characteristics and ultimately at the end uh, how does the yield compare when we when we sum it all up at the end of the year so a lot of data points uh, gives you more confidence in the recommendations you're making. So between these on-farm plots and our research also has uh, 20 to 30 impact location, a very controlled environment locations to get good data, as well as yield trials and iron chlorosis screening, stuff like that, getting you the best information so that when we come to sit down to have the conversation this fall, because there's going to be a lot of them, there's, there's a lot of momentum around Enlist uh, with the ongoings of Dicamba, we're going to have a lot of data and we're going to be able to place these products, products confidently. I look forward to seeing the results at the end of the year and sharing them uh, with you, the growers, to make a good decision. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.